Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and I like to start my videos off with a joke just to lighten the mood. So the joke for this video is, why couldn't the pony sing happy birthday? Because she was just a little horse. So I actually love horses so that that joke made me uh, happy to say that but hopefully um, you got some laughter out of that as well or at least some happiness. So before we get started, I just want to say thank you for all the support. I truly appreciate it. I have a huge goal of getting to a thousand subscribers by June of this year. So by watching, liking, commenting, really like anything with the video is incredibly helpful to me. So I greatly appreciate it. So all right, let's get started. For this video, I'll just be showing you a very simple way to create a budget planner. I'm not going to create the entire planner, but I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your own. And this will be able to be done with the free version of Canva. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. Um, obviously, if you want to use the pro version, you can use the pro version. I currently have a free trial with the pro version, and it's definitely very helpful. So first, just go to Canva. You can Google Canva or type it in and just search budget planner and then hit enter. And it's going to load and a bunch of different templates are going to pop up. Now Canva is amazing. They have so many different templates. You can even make your own, but I feel like with budget planners, it's so much easier having a template to start with. So the ones with the crowns are for the pro version. Um, I'm not going to use one of those since I want to show you that you can do this for free. So you can just scroll down and find any of the ones that you like. I mean, honestly, there are so many that you can do. Um, it's really incredible. You can do like budgets. There's some for like getting out of debt. I'm just going to look around here, see if there's any that really jump out to me that I really like. Um, let's do this one right here. I like this layout. And I also just noticed this travel journal here. That's pretty cool. Um, that might be a niche to look into or a savings planner. There's honestly like so many different things here. I love Canva so much. So once you click on it, it will open it up in a new tab and you can change the name at the top of the screen. Uh, once it loads, it'll have the name listed up. You can change it if you want to. I'll just leave it for the sake of this video. Um, and I recommend changing it. So like technically, I guess you could probably use the template, but I'm not really sure on the Canva rules for that. So I, I try, I always change like everything Like I don't just use a template as is at least right now because I don't want to have duplicate interiors or get in trouble so we're going to change this for sure. So first I'm not really sure what is even highlighted here. I'm just going to delete it and see if it does anything. Oh it looks like they have a bunch of stuff in the background. Okay so I'm just going to delete that because I don't want that. Um, I'm going to change the background to white. That's better. I don't want to pay to print color for the entire page. Um, sometimes I do black and white stuff. Sometimes I'll do color. Let's see. Let's make, um, let's see. Let's do this one black and white. Just so that if you guys don't want to print in color, you can kind of get an idea of that as well. So let's change this to like a light gray. And if you want to copy the same thing, you can click on it and then do copy style and go to another item and see it, it copies it exactly which is like super helpful so just a little tip in case you weren't sure about that I'm going to keep going there there we go all right perfect um so now i'm just going to change no let's just keep that like that it's all right let's zoom in a little bit i don't really want this green here let's change this to another color if it's gonna let me click on one okay here we go um, let's see, let's make this like a darker color. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. And let's just copy that to all of the other options here. Perfect. Um, so honestly, this is okay as is. I actually want, I want to change all of these to black. I was wondering why I couldn't see the lines so much just because they are... A lighter color so I'd have to change all of these individual lines to black I don't think I could group them together let me just try it real quick 
Oh, yep, yeah, looks like I actually can. So I'm going to do that instead of doing them all individually. And then I'll have to re-add um, the background if I want it. There we go. And then it's the wrong one. Here we are. Just move that back up there. And I'm going to do the same thing for up here. Since there's only three, I'll just click through and do them individually. So this may just take a couple minutes to do. But you can personalize this however you want to. I'm just doing a very generic, simple way just to show you that you can make your own budget planners with Canva. Um, I think this would be perfectly fine. Like, honestly, I'm going to delete this down here since I changed it all. And you can add designs if you want to as well. So let's say I wanted to add, like, a flower or something. Maybe I was making a flower monthly budget planner. I could add a flower like this. Um, I could add it around the edges or I could put it like right in the middle honestly let's find one to add right in the middle let's do let's do this big one right here so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller I'm gonna put it right here I'm going to click on this and change the transparency I'm going to position it and I'm going to do backwards but I don't want to go too far back so forward one there we go. And now people can still write, but you have a fun little design in the background. I'm going to make it a little bit more, a little bit less transparent. There we go, just so people can write. And that's just like a super simple way to do You can do it so many different things. Um, I'm just going to delete it since it doesn't really flow with how this budget was actually looking. And then I'll just make 100 pages just like this. If I want a This Belongs To page, normally I'll create an entirely separate page. And then I will go to ilovepdf.com, I believe is the name, and I'll combine them together. But I would just keep duplicating this until I get to 100, hitting Control D, or I can select them all at the same time. Um, and you can up here on the right-hand corner duplicate them as well. And I would just keep going. I'm not going to do that since I'm probably not publishing this. But this is just such an easy way to make a budget in case you weren't sure how to do the interiors. Canva has so many free templates. You can change the colors around. Um, honestly, it seems like there's a typo here, or maybe this is in like a different language or something, but I would just change those two expenses. I'm not sure if you can say that two different ways. I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, you can edit the names here. You could, you could really do anything you want to. You could change it to a daily budget instead, or you could change it to a yearly budget. I mean, you can really do anything you want to. You can take out the note section. Um, but there's just so many different things you can do here. If I want to add some lines for them to type under the notes, I would just add a line here. Scroll down. I changed the weight of it so it wasn't so thick to write on. And then I would just go like this and copy and paste it. So really, there's so many things you can do here. Canva is really incredible. And you, again, I did this with the pro, well, not the pro version. I am using the free trial, the pro version. However, I did this using free tools. So you can do this as well, whether you have Canva Pro or not. It's a free platform to use, the free account. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's a very quick tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, anything like that, please feel free to comment them below or you can let me know how you're doing. I love getting to know you guys and talking to you all. And again, I appreciate the support so much. It is incredibly helpful and I'm very thankful for, for everything. So thank you very much again and I hope you have a fantastic day.